to my NYX glitter palette. Welcome to the last video channel, my name is Masa Olga, and in today's video we're going to be fixing Selena Gomez makeup look. This is probably the first ever, ever makeup looks that we're going to be fixing from Selena Gomez, because she's an iconic singer, actress, vlogger, I don't know, like, influencer at some point, and creator as, like, makeup line, but the only makeup look that I could find from Miss Selena Gomez that is not flattering at all is from Matt Gala, so you can see that. And uh, we're going to be changing this, but before we go to my usual makeup tutorial or fix my makeup look, I'm going to real quick mention that I have podcasts coming out this January 2024. If you're interested, I have mail down in the description box. You can ask me anything. It's going to be 100% anonymous. Let's get started. I've moisturized my face and I'm using my toner. Well, it's all good. Then we're going to a sun cream and a primer. I guess the biggest problem, the biggest mistake in this makeup look is that it's super bronzy, too much color, the one that is discoloring from the rest of the body. I don't really like her under eye area, concealer is too much. That's why we're gonna start with doing my regular base and my regular foundation. I, I'm sorry guys, I really love this Catrice foundation and I'm gonna drip it all over my face. And I'll blend this out and it's not gonna discolorate from my face. Hopefully it's not discolorating. But let's do a little bit of my contour underneath foundation. Then I went to my Sephora concealer, placing this over my forehead, nose, on the sides of my cheeks, and a little bit over my chin. Underneath my eyes, I'm using a little bit different concealer from Essence Skin Loving Concealer and uh, blending out with the brush the rest of the face. But for my under eye area, I use a little bit different technique, my pink lipstick, a little bit of Depop eye serum, and then my NYX glitter, but on the sides, really close to the outer corner. And that is pretty much it that I'm blending out with my finger. I will set everything in place with the same powder I use every single time. This is Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder Banana Shade. And then we're going to use my Makeup Puff. Place it on top. Now I'm going to, if you want to create like super pretty, you know, contoured makeup look, then go for like some shade that is going to be soft at first or maybe this shade blend this out and then you'll see if you need to add more you can always go back and add a little bit more and i wouldn't go for this color this shade it's super cool undertone super cool shade for my complexion and i i feel like it's gonna look like mud it's gonna look super dark for my complexion she's lacking some warmth lots of tanning not that much of blush i want to use a little bit of my orange blush i'm gonna tap it off and blend this into my contour. Really love it. And then I don't really feel like she has any sort of highlighter. That's why we're gonna check this out first and then I'll tell you. Oh, no, 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 she has too much highlighter. Yeah, she has lots of highlighter. We are gonna add this, uh, but I feel like it's probably a little bit oily in this area. I wanna keep it matte, but I wanna add a little bit of highlighter in this area. I have my more Makeup Academy Highlighter, super pretty shade, super pretty highlighter. And I'm gonna use my highlighter brush. This one is from e.l.f. And then let me grab a little bit of the color, tap it off, and then start bringing this up to my cheekbones. Great, and I'll use my beauty blender on top she has nice brows that's why i'm gonna do this off camera but for those who are interested i'm using the same shade as my um, hair color brow pencil i am outlining my brow then filling in with the same shade using some brow gel and on top defining everything with a brow pencil from nyx i'm going to my nyx hd studio something primer eye primer the reason i went for this fix my makeup look from selena gomez is glitter i love glitter i feel like it's just uh, it's bare necessity i'm gonna set my lid with warm shade like that so let's use this one to set my lid i feel like we need a little bit of warmth and i'm using big and fluffy brush when I feel like it's warm enough, I will go to my pencil 
I have Warm Shade Pencil. This one is brown. And on top of my powders, I'll go in with this pencil. The trick here is that it's not gonna smudge out as quick as if I use this on top of bare lid. Use my finger to blend out the pencil. We have a little bit of peachy shade, a little bit of this warm brown. And on top, if we use this cool tone brown, as Selena has, it's gonna have a little bit different undertone and it's gonna prevent this cool tone look that is not matching the rest of the look. I'm gonna tuck it off and place it on top. And I'll try to blend this out and diffuse with, um, let's use the same transition color, why not? I feel like they blended out this look with the same shade cool tone shade mm -mm -mm. i hate this it's given the shadows around her face and around her eyes and it's not flattering to my next glitter palette i need a flat brush and i'll go with uh, with a mix let's do a mix of both i will mix this shade and this yellow both of them are looking pretty i have my aloe vera it's the best way to add moisture to your glitter and it's gonna stick to your lid. And I'll go over with one shade first and then on top I'll go with yellow color. Have a generous amount and then I'm placing this on top. Look at that. It's clear gel. It's not gonna irritate your eyes. No glues, everything natural. If you're wondering how to take off this glitter, you are gonna need to grab a tape and place this tape on top of this glitter and try to use as many times as possible when you're almost out of any sort of glitter and only then try to wipe it off. If you don't do this, then this glitter is gonna be all over your face and you're gonna scratch your face and scratch your skin. For my lower lid, I'll go with the same pencil that I used, place it over my waterline, and then I'll use the same shade and I'll combine this color with this warm brown. And this brown color. You can use the same transition shade, whatever. And that's it. In the inner corner, I really like her silver glitter. That's why we're going to use the same silver glitter. I have one. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to do a little bit of liner over my lash line. This is Catrice 24 hour liner and I'll coat my lashes with this mascara from Essence for my lips I want to do this pink but she has a concealer type pink lipstick I want to do it's probably gonna look really pretty with my complexion because I'm super fair and um, this pink is gonna look like pink on me but with her complexion it feels like she used some concealer or super nude color or even didn't use any color at all just outline her lips with a lip pencil i'm gonna be using today lip cream from eve line you can use any shade it's super soft pink color we're gonna do similar routine outline my lips with warm brown shade make sure that it's mixed in your lipstick okay guys and this is the final result i am obsessed obsessed it was really hard for me to find anything remotely bad from selena gomez lots of her makeup looks they're super beautiful and this is the only makeup look that is not super successful but we can give it a slack because uh, we know that Selena is iconic and she has great sense of style and she's really beautiful. That is the main reason why I can say that she has lots of different makeup looks that are not looking good on her. This is probably the only makeup look that I could find from Selena that is not super flattering. And I hope I'm going to see you in my next video and my next probably fix my makeup look. Love you all and I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye.